Hey, welcome back, Cotter. So this uh, this is a five horsepower leaf blower. You know, one of those cheap ones, and it's got one of these funky uh, carburetors on it that drop into your fuel tank. Sometimes they're problematic, and I don't think I've ever done a video on this, so that's what I'm gonna do today. If you've never done one of these, then probably once we get this air cleaned up, uh, take some pictures. It's not like you got to go to Photomart or nothing. Just take some cell phone pictures because uh, sometimes these linkages. So high money, you know, you know how it goes. Typical. How'd this go together? Oh, ain't too bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. I thought that was gonna be a lot worse. Yeah, a little rusty in there, so uh, let's finish taking this taking this plate off. So I don't know what we're looking at here. Uh, this is the screw I was talking about. I don't know if you can see that back there. So you can't even get to that sucker. That's the good one though. The bottom one is under here somewhere, which you can't get to. Uh, so we're going to take this piece off, this whole choke and throttle plate thing. And probably this piece here, this plastic piece has to come off. And a couple other things, this linkage will come off once you get this piece off. But uh, then there's some linkage down here we're going to have to do. But I'll get you a better camera angle. But this is what I was talking about. This bolt in there. Uh, first of all, this, this one is not Phillips. Most of the time all these screws are Phillips and they've got some kind of torch with a slot in the middle. Uh, so getting this bolt out, you know, usually it's okay this one because if it was a Phillips, we could probably just sneak it in there, you know, and uh, crack it loose. But the one underneath I'm talking about, which once I get this plate off, you'll see you can sneak an open end wrench in there and do the old millimeter turn, flip the wrench, millimeter turn, flip the wrench, you know, that whole business. And a week and a half later, you can get it out. Yeah, so I guess we're going to have to live with this angle. Um, like I said, these are torques, and it's looking like this is a number 20 torques for these little boogers here. Like I said, this whole carburetor gets bolted onto the tank. I don't know, it's like, not my favorite design, for, for but, the, but they do, <laughs> they do work uh, good when they run, so there's that. Uh, so I'm just going to take all these bolts off, and like I said, this this piece has to come off so you can see better in here. But let me do that. And I think the uh, if they're not Phillips, it's a Torx. I'm pretty sure it's probably a Torx uh, 30 for for in here. And again, you're not going to get to the bottom one. And I don't even know if I'm going to get to this one here. The muffler might be in a way. No, I think I could just sneak in there. Oh yeah, I don't want to strip it out, but. All right, so the top one's loose, carburetor-wise. Uh, so we'll take that. Sticks to everything you don't want it to. Come on, are you kidding me? Just don't want to drop it down below. All right, now these here. Should be two that hold this mechanism on, and there's a third somewhere back here that hold the carburetor on. But I'm just interested in these two right now because I need this this plate off so you can see better in here. And I'll show. I'll take it, I'll get the camera and show you. It's in there. It's in there. Hold pretty good. It's already out. I it ain't coming out. Or something. You know this thing's gonna go flying. There it goes. All right. So let me. Uh, should be loose enough. Stuck on the gasket. All right. So this this piece. There's gonna be uh, a kill switch wire in there, and there should be enough room to. Just tilt this forward and get this thing off the Z-band. Right? And let's just uh, drape it on this side. And leave that there. Now again, take all your pictures because, uh, you know, where this Z-band is, uh, let's see, there's only one hole for this choke lever. Look at how rusty it is in here, so. Um, you're going to need the linkages for the new one. And we might have to do some some modifications to this choke. As I can see, it's plastic and it's uh, 
might be a little modifications. Just leave that there for a second. All right, this this fella here. Let me let me move the camera and show you what I'm talking about here. Hold on. All right, so the two screws we took out was one here and one here, and then we just swung that thing up here. Uh, the kill switch goes behind your, your plate here to your coil. But so this guy has got to come undone. This is uh goes to your again take a lot of pictures all these linkages need to go back the same way uh, they're probably only fit one way but this guy has got to come off which is just a screw no no big deal and then we can get this uh, this linkage off and it'll just uh, it'll probably fall but and then this thing just pops out this should pop out we need to take that and you need to look at your carburetor too the new one you get uh, because you might need this plate you might need this plate your new carburetor might come with this stuff but you might need to use this stuff too. So this should just pop out of here. And get a pick or something. Um, you don't want to break that, but let's see if I can get my hands in here. Yeah. So just reach behind there and pop that out. And again, that might fall, but we'll just leave it there for a second. And uh, so that's free flowing. And again, this does have to come off. Ah, crap! I brought the wrong screwdriver. Yeah, I gotta go get a better screwdriver. We'll take this off and set it aside. So let me go get a proper bleed. This should come off, no problem. Get the camera probably a little too close, but now there's a barrel in there, like a spacer barrel. So don't lose it. It's gonna probably fall. Now we could just uh, there it is. Get it out of there. Come on. It's on the back side. A little spacer barrel. Keep this so don't lose it because we may need it. If the new one doesn't come with it, you're going to need that. And now you could just uh, slide this whole mechanism out of its uh, hole over here. Just remember it goes. And that's that. That's that part, anyways. Uh, so this I'm going to leave on because it's. The new one might come with this, but I might have to take it off because this, this choke here, it may be a little different because like I said before, the choke was on the end and you would just pull this, uh, it was like a drawer, you just pull it out and it would close up here and that's how it was choked, but now they're using a chip, well this is a, uh, you know, on a lever, but uh, chokes nowadays on this carburetor are right here and they're on that, you know, like a little spring and ball bearing, you just, one of those deals, so we might have to modify that chop it up a little bit but we'll see uh, so now this one has to come off too again I gotta I probably should open the carburetor see what comes with what but uh, it might come with this piece but it's still got to come off just the way we got to do things and here's the bolt I was talking about can you see that uh, point to it this is the bottom bolt on the intake uh, and again you can get an open wrench on here and do that whole quarter turn thing, but you can't get anything, you can't get that torx in this way. Uh, it looks like a, what is that, an eight millimeter, but it's in a peculiar place. So I got one of these little bendable uh, extensions here. Let's see if it'll crack loose. Oh, Oop. There we go. Too lazy to go over and open that box to see if well, I should have already done that. See if the, actually the right carburetor was sent, but uh, to see what comes with it because if I lose one of these pieces, I won't be worried about it. But if you're trying to take this apart just to clean it, then you got to know where everything goes. So you might as well just try to do it the right way. Now, I think there's maybe a washer on this one, but usually nothing like a barrel deal. Yeah, the, the, the bolt itself is like a shoulder bolt. All right, so now I'm just going to flip this off of this guy up top and let it just sit there for a sec because I'm going to go open my box, see what comes. And if that's the case, and I'll just take this little plastic piece. Of it. it really doesn't matter. It can only go on one way. Well, of course, uh, it, I put a 10 on it. It's, it's not, uh, not a 10. It's a little big. So this little 3 8 wrench, 
it doesn't normally have an offset I bent that on purpose but let's see if we can get that in there if you have a ratchet wrench that's that small be perfect for this situation well that's actually loose too yeah and the 10 was loose probably gonna strip this out but let's see no, it did come loose all right, well, I have a little room in this one, so it looks like I can jack this out. I got more than a millimeter turn here, so so I'll just take this all the way out. The gasket's going to hold this on, so I'll just loosen this bolt, take it out. Again, if you strip this and you can't get in here or you can't lower the tank, I'm still going to do that. This still has to come apart, but um, actually, I can see it's starting to separate. The gasket usually holds this together. So there's a bolt on the bottom of the gas tank we didn't take off yet, so this isn't going to go too far because the gas tank is holding the carburetor and the gas tank is still mounted on the bottom. So I'm going to continue getting this bolt out here. As you can see, it's almost there. Uh, so that one was pretty easy. Again, I've had it where that thing's stripped out and you, there's nothing you can do but take a saws on, just whack this right off without trying to get in the, your muffler. And then when everything is apart, then you can get to everything easier. So let me work on getting that out and move to the next step. All right, so we were just up in uh, in this neck of the woods. So I moved the camera a little bit to show you the bottom here. This this uh, little pointer. Oops. This is the bolt that I need to come out right here, right? And this is what's holding this gas tank down. That's pretty much the only thing left. Now there is a governor uh, attachment to this plate, uh, but we disconnected it up here. So. Sometimes there's a return spring, and you, I can't see in there. So if there is a return spring that's grabbing a hold, uh, when we get this loose, it'll crack open. It'll fall apart, or, or fall fall to the left a little bit. We'll, but we'll be able to see in there if there's a spring. But if not, then this is almost out of here, and then we can uh, because the carburetor is now undone. This should whole unit should just come off in one piece. So let's try to get this bolt out. I think that's a ten. Not sure yet, but let me get that bolt out and see what happens. No, I think that booger's a 3 8 too. It's looking like it. No leverage. Ah, popped off. Taking a wheel off might be uh, beneficial, but I'm not going to do that. I'll sneak in here and try to pry this up. So it's coming loose, I can see it's dropping. Now there is one other link that might be uh, holding the thing up. It's uh, the tube going from your carburetor to your, your valve cover. Uh, but usually that just comes right off. It's just rubber that fits in there. Or you, the last bolt is up, now I'll show you in a second. The last bolt is up top side with that other end of the tube. And uh, we could take it off there too. Damn. All right, so that's out of there. Now we should be able to just uh, Get this thing off a little bit. Let's uh, let's take it back. Let's take around here. See what's in there. All right, so there is. It does look like a spring in there. Let's see. Yeah, there is a spring. Dirty spring, but you see that spring in there? Let me get a pair of pliers. Uh, that just comes off the. Uh, let me try to clean that up. Show you better. Hold on a second. Well, let me try to take it off. It'll be a little a little easier to clean up. So. It's like got a little uh, loop to it on a, a little edge, so just pick it apart there. There. I don't know if that came out on camera, but it should just dangle. We'll clean all that and I'll show you in a second. Um, but that should be the last thing, and this thing should come right off. Now, there's a tube I was talking about. Yeah, it came right off. Um, that gets plugged in. This is the tube that comes around from the top side, but it's just rubber there. So we we'll sweat that, and when you plug, when you pick this gas tank up and plug things back in, it should be, you know, go right in. But we can also take the tube off and do it another way. So we'll, now this thing should come right out with no problemos. So let's take it to the bench. So, like I said, I'll clean this up, but this uh, and we just release this spring. It's got like. It's just a little T thing. The spring fits right over it. It's like a loop. 
uh, and this is your, obviously your governor here. But let me, uh, I was going to say I should have more play than that. But let me go ahead and clean all this crap up. But hey, look at that. I wonder why this thing didn't run. <laughs> I don't know what's going to run actually now looking at it. Uh, but I think it will. These things, like I said, are bulletproof. Looks like it's uh, been sitting around for a while. Loaded with water, perhaps. I don't know if you can see in there. It's pretty cruddy. That's, uh, that's a valve stem. And all I see is rust. <laughs> but it does move. I mean, uh, you know, there was, there was compression, so... We'll see what happens. Just moved a hair. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Well, earlier when I said there was compression, you know, you pull the rope and you hear that. Ft, ft. <laughs> so, so I don't know if this thing's going to work, but we're going to try it anyways. Uh, I'll just try to lube this stuff up, see if it'll help out with. I took the spark plug out. We'll send some stuff to and from. Try to get this thing freed up. Let me just load this up with some sea foam. Let it sit while I go over to the bench and deal with that carburetor. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, look at all that crap coming out of there. If this thing starts and starts running, it'll clean itself up, but... Like I said, I'm just gonna... Let it soak. <sighs> Let's go over to the bench. Yeah, right, so I just cleaned this up so you can see the spring now. It's just one of those, uh, it's just got an open end there. It goes around that one tab. That's the really only thing that's going to be hidden. This obviously goes up, but now everything's moving freely. That's the least of our problems, right? Because uh, if that intake, I mean, the engine, the top end of that engine is seized or rusted solid, then this ain't going to work. But uh, the bot I checked the oil, the bottom end, it doesn't seem to be overfilled. It's hard to read that dipstick, but it does, it was oil. I don't think it's filled with water. Somehow this got filled with water. Probably sat outside for years. And uh, so this thing's toast, but it explains why it didn't start. So I got one bolt on the top left where this hose is hooked to. And uh, this carburetor should come right off. Uh, but let's, let's open this, uh, let's see what we got here for, for a carburetor, because it says five horsepower. Briggs and Stratton. <laughs> Hopefully it's the one. And again, I don't know, sometimes they put bolts in there, sometimes they don't. And the gaskets, they kind of always do. Two sets of gaskets. Inside. Yeah, it looks like the puppy here. 18 bucks, brand new. How are you gonna go wrong? Okay, so they did. Alright, so we are gonna have to modify this choke. The choke is, uh, like I said, it seems like it's frozen. There it goes. Uh, I'm one of those uh, spring deals. So we're gonna have to get rid of this spring for sure. Probably chop this a little bit because of where this thing plugs into. I'll show you in a second, but uh, so it does come with this. So we still have to take this apart, and take this off just to get uh, our linkage back in there. But other than that, I mean, this might be remanufactured. Maybe it's not new. Either way, it's got no rust in there, so this should work. All right. So over there, we took the two for the throat plate uh, for the linkage you know them two bolts originally then there's uh, the bolt which just took off for this tube and then there's another bolt in here right about here that needs to come out so there's one two three there's four bolts but the the ones hidden in this uh, little crevice here uh, by your uh, plate here you'll see but there's four bolts and then there's one up on the top this uh, this fellow here, long one that goes all the way down. Now this thing should come out of there. Yep, full of rust. Full of rust. Let's see here. So that is why it won't start. It's just corroded with rust. 
Now you can go ahead and try your best at cleaning this up, but why would you? For 18 bucks, you don't have to worry about it because there's no way you're going to get that clean. <coughs> Not 100% clean. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and take these gaskets off, scrape everything up, clean everything out, empty the gas tank, and I know I can't get all that crap out of there, but I'm going to do my best with some air and uh, some other junk. Spray some sea foam in there, let it soak a little bit, and that'll be that because there's no way you're going to get to. Uh, Actually, it doesn't smell bad now, gas-wise. Uh, so let me clean this tank up and see what I end up with. Yeah, not too bad. In the tank itself, a couple of crumbs in there, but honestly not too bad at all. It's this, uh, I don't know if you can see that. No way I could probably get that on camera. That little cup's full of, full of crusties, but the actual tank is in decent shape. So let me clean this, uh, this rusted cup up. Spray some shit in there and let it, let it fester and uh, clean this gasket up and we're good to go. This thing's going to fire right up. Trust me. Alright, so went to town like an aggressive dentist with a couple of, you know, picks. Little scraper picks. Uh, sprayed it out with some brake clean and that's all I'm going to do. So let's get, this, let's get this thing back together. Now the gaskets, the, uh, the thick one. The thick one I'm not going to use that goes on the, uh, the engine, you know, that is still intact. I'm not even going to bother with that. This is the one I need. And uh, can only go on one way. Let's see, where's that tab sticking out? Let's figure this out. And that looks about right there. <laughs> this guy's got to go in uh, the hole that it came out of, yeah? Everything looks like it's... A bolt up. Of course, you got to get it the right way. Let's see. No. Yes. Stick all our bolt holes back in there. Bolt this puppy up. I'm gonna be good. Good to go in ten minutes. Let me uh, put the put all the bolts back in. Where's that big sucker? Oh, I forgot to clean that sucker up. I'm going to stick down a little bit, huh? Yeah, we're not going to worry about that. Because I don't want to spend all day on this. Get my tube back on here. There I go. I want something like this. Might wait on a tube because I'm not sure how to orientate it. Where's the rest of my bolts? Uh, so I'm going to bolt this thing back on, go over there, put it back in the machine, start this thing up. Oh yeah, before I put it in a machine, uh, it's going to be easy to do here. Remember this uh, choke I was talking about? It's got this little uh, spring deal, you know? That's how, uh, you know, you would choke it. But the levers, the way this is, the old one, see this plate? You know, and you got this slot that runs through for, for the choke that runs on this machine. So we're going to need this plate, this whole plate. But if you take this bolt off and put it on here, this is going to be totally impeding. So, I know it's bad lighting in here. <clears throat> so this linkage here, not this top one. The top one has the linkage up here. But this uh, bottom one kind of got jammed in there. Let me, uh, let me take it out of here. I don't know how that got jammed in there. but This fella here, this needs to come out of there. And we need to use it in this hole here, the top hole. You'll see why in a second. You can't use the bottom hole because right now it is choked. Right there it's choked. So we need this hole. If you, you see what I'm getting at, this hole here is the only one corresponding. But if you put this plate on here, which goes in this hole down here, this choke won't, won't, won't sneak by it. So we're going to have to take a pair of dikes and clip this and that, and that uh, spring off. Here, do it right now. So we need to clip, well, I'll clip this bottom piece first. So make sure you don't clip your hole off, that would suck. And we don't need this back piece because that's going to uh, impede as well. Let me see if I can get this spring out of here. 
try to clip that off or pull it out, whichever works for you. Because we're not going to be able to use that spring. It's going to be totally in the way. Let's see if we can clip that off. There we go. Alright, so right now, we only have one little ear left. We need this hole here, this one. So we got to clip this guy off. There we go. Now, let's see. It looks a little closer to where it needs to be. See this one? And this one? It's black. It's close. Close. All we need is this hole and for it not to impede on this plate. You'll see when I take this off and put it over there. If it impedes a little bit, I'll smooth a little more, but that's it. So, let me take that off and show you right quick. All right, so I put that plate in. Um, that was one of those bolts where, you know, it kind of threads a, a hole that doesn't have threads by itself. And, you know, every turn of that thing, you think, oh man, this thing's gonna strip or something's gonna break, but, uh, so that's, that's in and done. Uh, so we could put our linkage back on, if you remember where it went. Did it go on the outside? I don't know. Did you take pictures? <laughs> so, I'll deal with that in a second, but, uh, all right, so we put it on, uh, that bolt, uh, just get it started, the lower bolt, but remember we gotta do this, uh, this funky spring in here. It goes up to that piece that we let it off on before we do anything. We gotta get that booger back on there. So, uh, so now the spring's back on, and just got to make sure all these rods are <clears throat> not going to be impeding before we bolt this up, like that one fell back. Just kind of rest them in a spot because we're going to lean this forward. To, no matter, we're going to lean this forward up here, and get those bolts started. This is the intake uh, gasket. Like I say, no, it's fine. So I'm not going to put a new gasket on there. And we do have to take this piece off, but let me get uh, let me get this carburetor at least semi uh, up there before we start hooking everything up. Yeah, these carburetors are a pain. They are a pain. This machine doesn't cost much, but the actual carburetor is only eighteen bucks. So it's almost like for eighteen bucks, do you you know? Oh, don't forget about your, uh, I don't know if I, my arm's probably in the way, your uh, little rubber deal back here. It's got to plug into your valve cover before you start bolting things up. Oop, just missed. Of course, I'm flying blind. Can't see anything. Get a screwdriver in here. Let me get one bolt started. Fix that rubber if I need to. You kind of have to do the bottom bolt first because if you don't, it's going to be tricky to hold this thing up in the air. Once we get one started, the rest is going to go easy. I think that started, so uh, let me reposition the camera here. All right, so at this point, we got the uh, the lower bolt down there uh, loosely, and the two two bolts here uh, finger tight. So now we got to hook up these rods again. And uh, for for this rod, this rod goes here, obviously, and this rod goes to uh, the mechanism for your choke. But we we have to take that that piece off. Remember, because we got to bend that, not bend it, but Z bend is gonna go in there. There's no way to do that without taking this off. So now that that's loose, we can go ahead and take the little rod, little fella, feeder in there. Go. Uh, remember all the pictures you took. <laughs> Feeder in there like so. And we can put that back together. Uh, 
So, no, that works. Let's, uh, I gotta, before I put this booger on here, where is it? This, remember this fellow with the barrel? That goes like here, and then your big rod plugs into this piece. But I do have, it's probably gonna be easier to put this choke on because it goes behind it. Or, uh, yeah, the choke lever first, because that needs to go. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna go get it. Yeah, this, this fella here. So, you used your. Uh, you, you, you could put this on backwards, but things aren't going to work when you do that, so you'll see. So, your choke lever grabs. Uh, remember this fella here? Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be looking at, but. You know, that just gets plugged in like that. And it gets bolted up. To the original holes, right? But we're gonna put that other piece in first. So I just want to show you that rod first. So let's put uh, this fella back on. Where is it? Uh oh. Where is. I forgot where my. Uh, Bolt this that goes in there. That goes in there. Uh, maybe the second hole. See? Wouldn't make sense to be the first hole. There's too much of a pitch. It wouldn't work. As far as I can tell, I didn't bolt it up yet. Let's put it in the second hole. See if that looks better. Yeah, that looks better. So, let me go get that. Where is that fella? The deal with the barrel do and then clean that up I guess. It's good enough. This goes behind it. Get over my screwdriver. Hold on a second. Uh, but see if it was in the first hole, well could be in the first hole I suppose. No, it would be just too far up. I didn't take any pictures, but worst case scenario, if it binds up, well, no, it's the other hole. I don't think it matters. All right. Now we can uh, plug this fella in. Remember him? That's the guy that was on that lower spring. That just gets snapped in there. like so. See now this little loop here is there's a little stem that sh comes down when you're on fast idle high idle. It's for the governor but uh, as long as we got our uh, this guy ready to go. Choke. So now I'll just bend this mechanism. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if you can see. This top piece. Where is it? Uh, that goes, this this top piece here, that's for your choke. That needs to get plugged in. Just turn her sideways, plug it in, turn it back sideways. I'll be mindful of your uh, kill switch wire there. It doesn't get pinned in there somewhere. And then that's gonna sit like that. Now, this is the part, the only part that you need to know is for this, uh, the only part you need to know that this guy's gotta go in there. See that little stem? Sticks down. This stem has got to go in that hole. And that's it. And you can move that stem where you need to. That's it. Now we can bolt. Well, let's see. Let's see if we got this saddled up right. So the choke works. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So. Let's bolt that up, see what happens. <laughs> so I still got to, uh, there's no gas in the tank, but uh, I still got to change the oil, but I do want to just give it a sniff of the good stuff just to see if it barks. If it does want to bite and start, then I'll change the oil and, uh, 
and uh, put some gas in it. Right, because uh, that engine did, did look pretty nasty. So let's see. That should be enough. Let's see what happens here. in the oil. I'll be amazed if this thing starts. About a half a quart of water came out first. <laughs> so, so this thing's probably been sitting outdoor for years and uh, just filled up with water. Hence everything rusty and it looks like a uh, really thick pudding. Uh, so we'll put some oil in there. We'll see if this thing fires up. If it does, it's for sale. Well, it's not looking good for the home team for sure. But, at least you got to see how carburetor goes on there. It's probably just going to break something. Be nice. Uh oh, I think it moved. It did. I think it just got suited. moving up and down now. <laughs> this might work. This might work. Get a little lube. This might work. Can't promise anything. Again, this came in junk. No wonder. <laughs> Rusty everything. I might be able to free it. We'll see what happens. I always like to see what happens. It's got spark. Know that. Do we need to choke at this point? Oh, more, more compression. Yikes. Oh boy. So I just got done using it for like 30, 35 minutes. It runs fine. Uh, I, so I'm just assuming that valve got stuck up from rust, in, you know, just in the position it was in. Once the cam, once the cam lobe left, it just left it in that position. wasn't open and closing, you know. So it just needed to be lubed up, and I'm sure it probably needs an oil change again because uh, there's probably a lot of crap in there. But uh, all this thing needs now is a is a uh, filter, and this thing will work fine. That's what I'm saying, and I'm sticking to it. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, at least uh, if you have a carburetor like that, you can see how to change a carburetor. And uh, this machine, 5 horsepower Briggs, you see how rusted that thing was. It's all seized up. Runs fine. Big fan. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.